In this presentation, we're going to start working with text. It's important that you are able to enter text into a spreadsheet because it helps us organize things. It allows us to put labels on the columns and the rows and gives us a better understanding of what a spreadsheet tries to represent. Once again, by way of example, we'll start off with the spreadsheet that we created for the previous presentation, the one where we were listing how much we spent on lunch each day of the week for five days. And we created a column of numbers, you recall, $3, $4.25, etc. And uh, we performed various mathematical operations on that, like we calculated how much we spent for the entire week on lunch, and uh, we also calculated the average. But let's say now we wanted to make this, this column of numbers better identified. So we would want to put a label on that. So we would want to identify each day of the week that we had spent money on lunch. And maybe we would like to put a title onto the column that tells us, you know, what these figures represent. So let's actually do that. Um, to the left of each number, let's put the day of the week. So we'll click the adjacent cell, in this case, B3. And in this day, we're going to enter in this cell. We're going to enter Monday. And similarly, going down the rows, excuse me, going down the column, we will click on each one of the cells and enter the day of the week. and simply type in the day of the week for each one of the cell. Now, let's take a look at this. We notice that, you know, first we have a spelling error over here. So you can actually do spell checking uh, as you would in uh, Microsoft Word. And to do the spell checking, what you would do is simply uh, go up to the Review tab, click on that, and uh, check the check spelling. And if you want to start from the beginning of the sheet, which is what we want to do, we would click yes. And lo and behold, we can see that it's identified the uh, correct day of the week, spelling, etc. And so we're fine. So, as in any Microsoft product, you can do spell checking. Another thing we're going to see is, is that you'll notice that in one of the cells, Wednesday, the word was actually longer than uh, the cell would allow. So there's two things you could do. I mean, number one, you could expand the size of the cell. And to do that, you know, if we wanted to make the cells wider in this column, we would simply go up to the top here and put our cursor right between them and click on the mouse and make the cell wider. And that works very well. All righty. Uh, suppose on the top of the column, we would like to identify what these numbers actually represent. Uh, in other words, how much we spent for lunch each week. So let's click on that cell and type in the words, how much I spent on lunch each day of the week. And you can see that that kind of spread out and spilled out across the remaining cells. And if you wanted to do that, that's certainly what it can do. And it has done, and that's what Excel does as a default. But suppose you wanted to all get that all crunched into one cell. So we would click that cell how much I spent for lunch each day, each day of the week. And you see it actually appears up here. So we know that we're dealing with the entire text. And if we wanted that to fit into uh, one particular cell, you know, we go back on our home tab and we can go right to here, which uh, allows us to wrap text into one cell. So we'll click on that. And now it's sitting all in one cell. And you can see what Excel has done is reformatted the size of the cell to what it needs to actually get all those words in there. 
And if we wanted to, we can make that also a little bit wider so it looks a little bit better. And now we have it organized like that. Uh, perhaps we want to make this different justified. So maybe we want to center this in the cell. So we could go like, click it there. And you can see it's re-justified with center justification. If you wanted to do it on right justification, you click over there. But for text, I think leaving it in the center is pretty good. So now what we've done is included text into our spreadsheet so that we can see that this column represents um, how much I spent on each day of the week for lunch. And over here, the rows represent each day of the week. Now, the final thing that I'd like to do to improve the spreadsheet so far is to change the way these numbers are displayed. You see how, remember, Excel dropped off the significant digits, so instead of entering $3, it entered 3 You know, we could tell Excel that we would want these figures to represent dollars. So what we could do is, is highlight those cells, once again, clicking on a cell and dragging the mouse down. And we can now go up to here. And on this tab, if we click on it, it tells us all the different ways that these figures can be represented. So if you want it to be general, which means you can enter text or numbers, and that's the default for any given cell in Excel, um, you would need to do nothing because that is the default. But if you wanted this to represent currency, you could click on this, and then all these figures would change to money. Alternatively, if you didn't want to do it there, you could just click on this dollar sign, and for any cell that you highlighted, it will change the raw number into dollars. So let's do that. And we can see is, is that now we have a very nicely organized spreadsheet uh, indicating the days of the week as well as what each what this column represents. And one final thing that I might want to do is, is uh, if I might want to insert a new row in between the top of this column and the label. So I click over here, and then I right-click my mouse, and I click Insert, and a new row appears. And you notice how everything kept its formatting. And what I'd like to do is just make that nice and small. So this way it gives me a little space between my label. All right. And what I'd like to actually do is format that cell with a color. So like most things in Microsoft Word, you can just click on the fill box. And now we have as a spreadsheet our labels, our figures expressed in dollars. And we've also put this little visual break in here to represent uh, a line, make it a little bit smaller to separate the label from the uh, actual figures.